Okay, this is Sky Rogue, and this is a uh, sort of arcadey flight sim type thing. Um, very combat focused, and it has some really cool roguelike, roguelite, if you like, elements. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's get straight. That, that that was really a horrible sound right there. It doesn't actually happen in the game, only on the menu, as far as I can tell. But anyway, let's get into the game. And you do uh, see it says day three. I've already done a couple missions, so. There's like two ways that it's got this sort of prog roguelike progression system. You, uh, your tech level, as you can see there, it's level 27. That goes up every time you, uh, every time you die, um, you restart at day one, uh, and the days get progressively harder. Um, but uh, what you also have is, it says in the error lab, you can get this uh, these credits to upgrade your your weapons, and these go away if you die but the tech level stays the same so you can get unlocks of different um, different planes uh, which all have these different stats and I've, I've played it quite a bit so I've unlocked quite a lot of them this is the most recent one it seems like kind of like the the OP one of the bunch because it's just it's it's pretty fast uh, it's not super fast but it's, uh, it's I mean this let's see where's the one you start with now that's the one you start with it's almost as fast as this and it's got like twice the space it's, it's well not twice but you know it's 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 just objectively better in most ways um you unlock those and you also unlock different uh different weapons so let's take a look at some of those uh you want to usually uh tailor your weapon loadout to what you're fighting so in, it says mission is a corvette and uh let's look through here where is it corvette there Corvette is basically like a giant flying ship, which is kind of insane, but it's like in uh, Avengers movies and stuff, you know, it's kind of crazy. But I'm going to use this ship, uh, uh, ship, <laughs> this, uh, it does look a bit like a spaceship. Uh, so since we're going to be just doing air to air, I don't need this bomb, which I had for last mission, so let's replace that with something else. See, there's tons and tons of stuff on here. Uh, these are all unlocked by... Uh, by playing and there's an air to air semi active I don't really know what that means but let's just oh I can't fit it okay right you have you have your, your limits on what you can load up on with the uh, let's just go with some rockets so we've got these uh, up the top that's these uh, sort of guided missiles here's some specific air to air missiles uh, sort of machine gun and unguided rockets and the special here is a boost which I find endlessly useful um, Anyway, let's get into the game, shall we? Oh, wait, wait. I'll, I should uh, upgrade some of this stuff here. What was I using? Not that. So many. Okay, this this is the uh, this is the air to air fire and forget one. This is very worth upgrading. I'm going to upgrade that twice. Because now it's got a lot of range, which gives us a great deal of advantage against uh, other planes. So I'm playing this with an Xbox 360 controller. I think that's pretty much necessary to really enjoy this or oh, some kind of controller anyway I'm not gonna go straight for the uh, whoops I always get confused about the controls for some reason I'm not gonna go straight for the well for the target I'm gonna try to take care of some of these uh, things see they're all I'm immediately under attack oh you can do this kind of cool air break air dodge thing um, damn it Okay, so there's a bunch of different, um, whoops, damn it. Okay, for some reason I always space out on how to control this thing. <laughs> I always press the, the weapon fire button when I'm meaning to press the weapon change button. Okay, there's another one. Oh. So it's, uh, it's funny, I was... I can't remember exactly how I found this game, but I was I was kind of looking for something just like it. I really wanted something quick to play. The bloody hell! Um, this is a lot more intense than, than I remember. Um, damn it! Uh, I wanted something quick to play uh, that you know was a kind of flying game and had. Uh, damn it! Jeez, I'm getting really badly damaged. There's so many of these. I think maybe this has changed since the last patch. They keep. They keep uh, changing the difficulty curve settings. Well, okay, I'm gonna head back to base <laughs> and, and and fix myself because this is this is dismal. 
always happens. I feel like I'm doing really well until I get on video and then I do poorly. Ugh. Yeah, but I really like this flat shaded aesthetic. It's something that's it's being more used these days, but not so much still. It's not like nearly as popular as the whole pixel art aesthetic. Um, but I really like it. Um, and if you're looking for a kind of uh, a game you can just play a little bit of and then you know just play it for 10 minutes or so at a time then this is pretty good for that okay what am I doing wrong <laughs> I, I guess this is all okay I can just stick with that but the one thing you can do when you land is not only repair but you can also change uh, god that's tiny what the hell is that I don't think I've used that yet. Anyway, that's the scale on that seems pretty wrong. But let's just use this one that I have been using. Yeah, you can change out change out everything when you land. Um, which is handy. God! Okay, it doesn't let you control for, for a few seconds after you launch though. That's kind of a hazard. Because they're all just camping at the damn thing. Okay, I'm going to try to get some distance because they're all clustered. And then turn around and destroy them. Whoops. <laughs> Again, okay. It's that button to switch controllers. So yeah, the difficulty curve when I first got this game was really unforgiving. It was like, oh god, let's use this one. This has got some some range on it. Yeah, that's so satisfying. And one thing I really like is you can do this. You can lock your camera to an, a target, and then you get this really cool. Oh god. Really cool, but not particularly useful. God damn it, no. <laughs> um, view. Damn it, I did it again. There we go. Oh, these things are tough. Yeah. Um, I think they may have messed with the, dif the difficulty curve again. Because um, this, uh, I haven't mentioned yet, but this is actually in early access. And usually I don't go with early access. Because you never know what you're getting. I mean, it could just be a fucking total mess but this is actually pretty competent for for, for early access I mean it's pretty competent even if it was finished I think but uh, there, there are some some rough edges still they're still working on it and it's god damn it <laughs> did it again um, I think maybe the best thing to do is actually try to take out the mission target rather than deal with all these things because I think it's actually launching Ugh. Launching. Sorry, my brain can't work when I'm trying not to die. Um, it's actually launching these fighters, so the longer I leave it up, the more difficult this is going to get, and it's not going to get any easier. Okay, rockets don't need guided stuff for this. Jeez! <laughs> but it is really fun. You can just. Uh, you know, do this whole flyby stuff, and it's just, it's just, it's, it's fun arcadey action. I mean, there's no realism here. I mean, not really. It's, uh, I mean, it handles nicely, but geez. Um, but this, you know, there's no, there's no plane that just does a dodge, as far as I know. Um, okay, drone. This is just got a machine gun, so you don't get a lock-on noise. But well, oh, damn it. Okay. It automatically switches when you lose a target. It's... Where are you? It's difficult to tell how close some of them are. Ah! All right, screw this. I'm just going to go for the, the Corvette. It's, it's half down. I can I can do this. I can do this. No, it's too close. It's not close enough. Rockets, come on! It's <laughs> so much fun. Uh, I really can't play this without the boost with the add-on. You get uh, a, a number of different things. It's, I think it's one of the things you have to unlock, but um, one of them is like flares. Um, originally the dodge itself was one of those. I think I mentioned that. Come on! Oh, it's so close. Sometimes you need to destroy things on the ground or um, more mobile ships, like destroy, destroy a number of them. It seems like ships. I mean, it's it is it is a ship. It's a flying ship. You know. It's an aircraft carrier, essentially. Um, I don't even need to lock on for this. I'm just gonna 
I mean, I kind of need to know how far away it is. I think this is okay. Yes! Sweet. Okay, that was tougher than I thought, because uh, before I've got up to day, like, I think 10 or something? Maybe 8? Um, and it wasn't this hard, so I think, like I said, again, they have messed with the difficulty curve a little. Uh, but before, uh, when I originally was playing, I could never finish day three. Oh god, this is this is tricky. This is tricky. I should have slowed down. Okay, okay, yeah. Bit of an awkward landing, but it's fine. Whew. Okay, let's do another round. Oh, let's see, X Lab. Okay, this is a good way to show off. Let's show off one of the bombers. It's probably not. I like the light bomber because you don't actually need um, a lot to make this work. Oh, I can't get the arrow. Oh, there. Okay. Oh, I need the arrow boost, or I'm just gonna get killed. So let's see. I've got 20 left and 10 av. 20 payload, 10 avionics. What can I possibly get? Nothing. Okay, maybe I need to switch out the bomb then. Uh, the bombs are pretty cool. I like the area of effect ones because. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna go with a different bomber. The yeah, medium bomber. This is a bit more difficult to control. I'm not gonna need the rockets, I'm really not, because um, I'm not gonna do anything but just drop this damn bomb and use these uh, these marker missiles just to take out anything that is really bugging me. Um, oh, you can change the skins as well. This is kind of cool. Nice purple one here. Um, yeah, not yellow. I don't like that. Um, that's a cool. I like this color scheme. It's like a B. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Aero Lab. I haven't. I didn't really earn much because I think you earn based on uh, even these Aero Lab dollars based on how many things you kill. So it is actually worth doing more than just the mission if you can. Um, but yeah, let's let's destroy this X Lab. Well, two of them actually. So the bomb. The bombs are pretty cool because you can see so you get this kind of different interface and you've got to keep this plane steady. And I hope that hit. I'm going to keep locked on. Damn it, I missed. I think I missed. Can't tell. No, I got it. Yeah. That's the great thing about this. Uh, this bomb, oh god, <laughs> is the um, it's area of effect. So you don't actually need to be too accurate, and you can do this kind of bombing run thing. Let's do the bombing run just to be fun. Yeah, come on, and it's away. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's. I don't need to explain to you why that's fun. That's brilliant. Oh god. Oh god, this is bad. Now they want revenge. <laughs> yeah, you, there's a lot of um, a lot of uh, modding potential for this game as well. I haven't really messed with that, but I've seen a lot of um, uh, Steam Workshops mods and things. I think most of them, or in, or if not all of them, are uh, planes. Different planes you can get. And damn it, I, see, I'm not sure if I should uh, just turn and face these things. I'm really slow, but but you know, if I try to land and keep my course steady, then I'm not going to be able to do it. If these things are trying to kill me. Oh damn it! <laughs> Sometimes they they just they just miss. I don't know why. Oh. Okay. I'm just going to have to head back. There are a lot of... Look how many there are. I don't think I can... Yeah. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that is that is one disadvantage of this big bomber. Um, I think I would have been better with the uh, the, the ship I had... The, ship, the plane I had in the first place, but I, I did want to show a different... Um, so yeah, uh, there's there's a bunch of different planes you can get. Some of them are kind of like... Like it's actually a TIE fighter. Um... And stuff. God damn it! No! 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 Shit! Oh. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> um, you get the idea. But look, I, I've upgraded. I've, I've died, but I, you know, in the roguelike kind of um, 
tradition, you don't you get something even you know when you die. It's like you unlock some stuff. So look, here we go. We've unlocked the ability to get some new shit. So I don't really use these cannons very much, so I'm not that interested in that. I still don't know what semi-active means. I think maybe it means you need to keep the lock the lock on. So it says air to air semi-active there, so I'm not sure about that. But I'm, I'm quite interested in these new sh uh, planes. <laughs> these are actually new. These weren't around uh, before the recent patch. So, best at high speed tactical strikes and fleet defender. I think, oh, yeah, swing wing bomber. I like the sound of that. Okay. But, yeah, then we're back to day one. Um, <laughs> but... It's uh, you know you don't you don't you don't feel bad when you've lost because then you just you know you get something out of it a new ship like this a new ship I keep the, the ships damn it I like ships and those ships um, and you get to to just play again and it's fun and I like it so if you're looking for a kind of quick arcadey sort of um, flight sim type thingy then this might be it. Uh, you know, if you want to wait till it's finished, that's certainly understandable because you know early access. But it is it is playable and it's fun right now. So I took the chance. I <laughs> took the chance on early access game. I, th I don't think it's too well known. It's got a sort of quite a dedicated following, but um, you know, you probably haven't heard of it. So this is that, and I'm rambling on, so I'm just going to stop here. So this was what's it called? Sky Rogue. <laughs> I'm very tired. Um, this is Skyrogue, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.